I like watching those different like the swing coaches. There's some good videos out there with John mm-hmm. Taylor. Like honestly, like the Trent breaking ninety stuff. When 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 JT really breaks down, you know, what he's doing wrong and ways to improve on it. Mm-hmm. And, and just those thoughts that he then implements with, you know, guys like Ricky Fowler and Kevin Kisner and, you know, all the, all these guys. I mean Butch Harmon's got some great videos out there too. Um they just they give you these different ways of thinking that I almost think are habits to get into are better than like having those other swing thoughts yeah but then you've got like that routine and you just do it and the second you change it brett mccabe and you know dr brett mccabe i think he's uh mm-hmm. it's either georgia or alabama and it's like i shouldn't mix that up which one <laughs> <'Cause> like, <laughs> he's at one Especially as now. like a psychology professor but he's a big golfer and it's like he did that fixing frankie and it was like the second Frankie went walk up to the putt, I remember this video specifically. If if he like took his putter and lifted it like he was like, nope, stop, back off. Yeah, stop, back off. Yeah. Approach it the same way every single time. And it I mean, look at where Frankie Borelli's playing it now. Right. It's, out of his world. You know. Yeah, what that he, mental he did side the, of it. That I remember <clears throat> that fairway shot or that iron shot that he had where he's like, Are you sure that's the club you want to use? And he did it on purpose just to get in his head. And then he goes, Now walk up to that ball with the intent that you were going to hit that club. And he puts it like eight, eight feet. And he's like, I did yeah. that one on purpose just to fuck with you. So, yeah, it's cool. I mean, mental, that's what, 90, 95%? Yeah. Golf is 95% mental and then the other 5% drinking. <laughs> <laughs> I think a lot of it is just not having, like people always talk about the swing thoughts, but it's like you almost, you can't have too many of them. You got to have that yeah, habit yeah. and just lock in. The best I've ever played is like when I'm just not thinking about it. I'm like I'm. I just pick my target. I just listen to my body and just go. I don't. I don't try to like over execute thing. You gotta let the motion and the clubs do the work. Like literally, yeah. And he just oldest time. You just gotta do it that way. I feel like that. I mean, that one seventy five round last year was just like. I had a couple good. Normally, I just struggle the driver, and mm-hmm. it's like I'm not bad. I'm I I'm, I'm able to save my rounds and like save par from a lot of these trouble spots. But it's like when the driver is good, I'm mm-hmm. not overthinking that, and it just makes the rest yeah. of it. So I mean, when smoother. your driver's on, you are a 75 to 80 golfer dead on every time, every time. The thing that's frustrating is even when it's off, I know I can save and get up and down. Sure, these. sure. But I start thinking so much about the tee shot and then the next tee shot and overthinking other shots off of that. And it's like yeah. just my eliminating goal, those thoughts. My goal is definitely to get uh, a new set within the next – it's crazy. I'm playing with a set that I bought off this guy – who got out of a divorce and was moving out of state. This is like four years ago, Mm -hmm. five years ago. I mean, it's not like – it's a full set. It's not like a bad set, but I don't even know the name of it. It's like some generic, like whatever. But I'm still putting up like fucking decent scores every time. I'm like – and I got a driver that's – a tailor-made driver that's like five, six years old. That shit is (laughs) – The technology has just changed so much. And that's where like I got that – it was like that lower level Callaway set when I got the new set in like 2016, mm-hmm. 2017. And it's mm-hmm. not bad. Um, but now I've got the, the I, it's basically like a full rogue set from driver down to pitch. Yeah. And just the I consistency like yeah. one to the other is they're, they're some of the most forgiving irons. Yeah. Um, Thanks for watching today's episode. To see more of our content, be sure to follow us on Instagram, TikTok, and subscribe on YouTube. We can be found at Basic Bogies on all platforms. Thanks. We hope to see you on the next one.